India is home to 1,53,000 high net worth individuals who are collectively worth $589 billion. The country's financial capital Mumbai with 30 billionaires is among the top 5 billionaire cities globally. Even as you are stumped by these astounding numbers, the thing that crosses your mind is where do these richy rich live? Well, without exceptions, they all live in the innest part of the town a Tony address as they all say. With the economic boom and fast changing lifestyles, a new crop of builders have redefined Mumbai's Tony address with the construction of super luxury apartments. Take Worli for instance. In the last 10 years, it has transformed completely. The familiar chimney dotting the skyline is missing. The mills have gone. In its place are swanky malls and super luxury towers. Just near the famous Worli landmark, the TV Tower, Omkar's 8,000 crore rupee residential project is underway. Construction is on for 76 storey towers that could be an envy of everybody. This project redefines what a luxury apartment really means. It is uniquely named 1973. Well, that number stands for Mumbai's geographical locations, 19 degrees latitude and 73 degrees longitude. What makes this project unique and one of its kind is that Omkar has got the best names in the world to work on this project. Clearly, they are keen to redefine taste, redefine class. And so they've got the leading architect, structural and interior designer from London. And putting this towering giant together is our very own construction company, Larson & Tubro. Today, Burley is the most sought-after address in Mumbai. What makes it unique is its sea view. And this has been made more beautiful with the artistic construction of the Bandra Worli Sea Link. Omkar 1973 residents get a magnificent view of the sea. This 300 meter high, three towers complex will house 400 apartments. Apartments will add measure anywhere from 2500 square feet to 18,200 square feet. And the price tag is between 15 crore rupees and 100 crore rupees. Little wonder that these dream houses are aptly called the sky bungalows or palaces in the sky. Each resident of 1973 will have an uninterrupted view of the sea as the first habitable unit will start at the 16th floor or 70 meters above ground floor. So those buying a bigger flat will have a 360 degree view of the city. See in Mumbai uh, geography, we, everyone can't go for the bungalows here because we have no land available here. So if I can own a bungalow here, then I have to pay a 400 crore, 500 crore. For that is not possible for everyone. So we given our brief to our architects that let's create a bungalows in the apartment. When you enter the experience center, what you personally experience is the luxury of space. Why is that? Michael Cook of Bureau Happold of UK, the structural consultants to Omkar 1973 who have designed marquee projects like the British Museum in London inside which I take this interview tells us what makes the Omkar structure unique. What do you say are the challenges of building tall buildings? The building a building that tall, how you get all that material up into the sky, the cranes, the ways that you safely keep people working up there in the sky is really, really challenging. And if you're not careful, if, you if your structure is too massive, there's too much of it, if you're not efficient with your structure and careful, you end up with such big columns that nobody wants to, wants to live in the apartments because of the columns. So we've kept everything uh, very column free, very big open spaces by careful design, by, by thinking hard, by not doing things the normal way. 
And Omkar has conceptualized a unique design for these open spaces. So where I'm standing now is this huge courtyard or terrace or balcony as we all know it. And as I move to the left is a room. And nothing really separates the inside from the outside. Oh, we have created here life inside outside. Everywhere, if you will see, it's a dining area inside. We have created a dining area outside. If living area inside, same way, relaxation area on the outside also. It's like uh, we are uh, sitting in the lawn. This great idea was beautifully woven into the interior designing done by HBA of UK, a leading hospitality designer since 1965. For us, it wasn't developing a separate narrative for the indoors or outdoors, but um, really pulling them closer together and blurring the boundary so it's not as clear. A lot of the beautiful homes in Mumbai, particularly the taller buildings in Mumbai, you go onto the terrace and then you step down. This is very much um, driven by the climate and during the monsoon season there's a lot of water that you have to get off the terrace and that's why there's all these steps on the terraces. We have been working with FMP and with Omcor to approach it a little bit differently and to use a different extraction system for the water and with the beautiful stacking doors that the interiors just open directly onto the terrace and you have this experience where your whole house all of a sudden feels like your exterior. So you get this wonderful connection um, to the outdoors and then that's sort of complemented by the soft curve of the building and all the different vistas and views that you get. So it's really quite a unique experience. The devil is in the details and what comes out loud and clear is Omkar is leaving no stones unturned to ensure that quality and comfort of their customers are not compromised. Towards meeting this objective, they have hired some of the best talent in the world. A case in point is UK's leading architect firm, Fosters & Partners. Nigel Dancy, partner at Fosters, passionately takes me through the model of Omkar 1973 at his office in London and explains why this project stands out in every which way. What is the unique Foster's architecture design at work at Omkar 1973? There's a number of things. One is the, um, the scale of the project, uh, of a residential project. We're standing uh, beside uh, one of our residential projects in London, and London has its restrictions. This is a, a 10-story high residential building. We're talking about uh, three towers that are approximately 300 meters high. So it's a huge, huge ambition with 450 apartments, four times the size of the development here. So in scale terms and also in the size of the units, they're, they're wonderful, spacious uh, layouts where we have external terraces, uh, natural ventilation, huge sliding opening doors, and then the tower, the tops of the towers feature very unique sort of palaces in the sky, we call them, which are the, these circular uh, discs which overlap each other. Uh, there's a helipad, there's a, a restaurant bar area, and there's these 360 degree palaces with absolutely incredible views over the city. So there's some really unique ideas that have come together in, in something which also supports a density, which we believe in. So we actually have a lot of development on the site, but with sensational views over the city. So how do you define luxury? Luxury is about quality and I think what we have here is not just quality of space, not just quality of finishes, but we have space. We have genuine huge apartments, wonderfully proportioned spaces, rooms that flow naturally out onto terraces with incredible views over the city. So that's real luxury. That's luxury living for you. We need to take a short break, but coming up on the other side, I will walk you through the kind of amenities that Omkar 1973 offers. You will be simply bowled over by what you see. I think the, um, the thing with the very, the very rich is they have choices. And I think we offer them a fantastic choice to live in the sky for one of their homes probably and uh, you know this these are these are family units they're big units they have choices and if they were living in Monaco or they were living or they had homes in Hong Kong or they had homes elsewhere in the world they may be they may have a range of different places they would look like to live in but I think in in Mumbai this has got to be the number one address so who is going to stay in this number one address who is the architect and interior designer kept in mind while designing Omkar 1973 what is the profile of people who will be staying in these luxurious sky villas? It is for the Metropolitan Kinesia.
For us, the metropolitan connoisseur is sort of the educated, self-made person, and the person who's quite well-traveled, who's been throughout Europe, throughout Asia, maybe Australia, America. They're people who have traveled, been well-educated, run a business, and they sort of, they know the best of the world. It's not just what you can find locally. There's sort of a growing class of people who really